shortly after I became a Coast Guardsman, until the day I retired, I, I drove rescue boats out here on Lake Michigan, mostly, and uh, up and down the shores, various stations, various ports, past all these various lighthouses. I know what it feels like when you get back inside those pier heads, and, and, and it's been a little rocky and bumpy, and you, you know, you made it back, and that lighthouse helped you get there. And, and, and so for me, it's a very personal attachment. When I come in here and I sail past here, it is very important for me to see this lighthouse so I, for one, know where I'm at, but also it brings me home. It is a guiding light, and uh, so it guides me right back home. Yeah, I'm Todd Reed, and I'm co-owner of Todd and Brad Reed Photography in Ludington, Michigan. My name is Brad Reed, and I've been a full-time photographer for eight and a half years. The thing that compels me the most to photograph the lighthouses in Michigan is that good photography is about feeling, and lighthouses just automatically have a lot of emotion and feeling built into them. I think the lighthouse actually somehow calms my nerves, uh, puts me at ease. Photographing lighthouses for me, I never tire of it. We all want to be there when it's that extraordinary moment or the big storm or the beautiful sunset. There are more lighthouses in the state of Michigan than any other state. All lighthouses have a very distinct and different look. Every lighthouse in Michigan is different. That doesn't just speak to the shape or size or height of the lighthouse. It speaks to where they're located in the various terrains. I mean, we're out here at Big Point Sabo. We're out here in the middle of nowhere. It's isolated and it's just gorgeous. Or we can go to a lighthouse like Grand Haven that has the pure catwalk. We can have a lighthouse like Ludington that sticks out in the middle of Lake Michigan and see something entirely different. To think that these beacons have survived 150 plus years of storms and uh, abuse of the wind and the sand, but they still shine bright and that they just draw people in. One of the best parts of Michigan is it never gets old. We're always on the hunt for that next best shot and just savoring that moment 